Bro, buhat ka na. 9am na oh. Sige, una ka na. Mag one game muna ako. Maya na ako magbuhat. Ikaw bahala. Pero feeling ko hindi ka na magbubuhat. You have been slain. Hello? Gabi na? Hindi na ako nakapagbuhat? What's good YouTube? Welcome back to the channel, Jacob Alava. At today, pag-uusapan natin ang tips ko kung paano kayo maging motivated or kung paano kayo ganahan to work out and to keep fit, stay healthy. So guys, yung intro na yun, tinry ko lang naman siya, no? Let me know in the comments below kung na-enjoy nyo or if you want something like that. Alam mo naman sa YouTube, di ba? You try different things out. Naisip ko lang siya out of nowhere. So, wala nang paligoy-ligoy. Let's go to tip number one. So guys, for tip number one is to list down your exercises and your workouts with what equipment you have. Lagyan nyo ng context structure. Mahirap kasi kung you go by how you feel lang eh. Kasi minsan nga, tatama rin nga kayo. So ang maganda is, let's say may certain equipment kayo or bodyweight exercises, lagyan nyo na sa notepad or lista nyo or whatever para may structure, para alam nyo kung ano gagawin nyo. Hindi yung, for example, ah magbubuhat ako tapos nagbuhat ka ng chest, di ba? Or shoulders, tapos sobrang random lang ng ginagawa mo. Yung reps, yung sets, sobrang random. Tsaka yung choices of exercise mo, you go by how you feel lang. Mahirap yun guys kasi after a certain set, iisip mo, ah, ano pa kaya ang gagawin ko? Nakakatamad kasi pag ganun lagi eh. So maganda, kung nililista mo na, put some structure to your exercises and workouts. For tip number two, is to prioritize your workouts or your exercise. Pag kagising mo pa lang, pwedeng kumain ka na or fasted, workout ka na kagad. Huwag ka na manood ng Netflix, huwag ka na maglaro ng Mobile Legends, huwag ka na maglaro ng games. Ma-affect yung exercise niyo. If you start the day with, let's say, Netflix or video games, dire-diretsyo na yan eh. Pag patagalin mo pa siya, baka hindi mo na siya gawin. Mas maganda rin na gawin mo na siya kagad kasi hindi mo alam baka sa hapon may bigla ang kailangan ka palang gawin, di ba? Para wala nang excuses, gawin mo siya kagad pag kagising mo. Tip number three is to watch motivational stuff or look at YouTube vlogs or mga fitness vloggers, mga ganyan. Kuha kayo na inspiration, guys. Kasi gets ko naman, minsan nakakatamad talaga, kahit ako. And yung ginagawa ko, I pump or hype myself up by watching these videos. So either pinapanood ko yung mga favorite vloggers ko or nanonood ako ng mga motivational videos na relates to workouts. Kalaban mo talaga yung mental state mo. You have to prime yourself. Tapos the moment na ready ka na, na-motivate ka kahit konti, diretsohin mo na yung workout mo. Tip number four, ito personal tip ko to and na-observe ko to. Sinabi ko rin to sa mga friends ko and sa mga clients ko. And nakita ko yung difference. Dress up, wear workout clothes, wear shoes. Kasi yung sa shoes, medyo weird tip siya, no? Kasi maraming tao naka-slides nagbubuhat. Napansin ko kasi kahit ako personally, tsaka yung mga friends ko, kung slides lang yung suot mo or chinelas, medyo pump lang habol mo, mag-arms ka lang, ganyan. Hindi ka gaganahan mag-full body, eh. Kasi kung isipin mo nga, kung nag-prepare kayo, nagbihis kayo, and all, iniisip nyo parang pupunta ulit kayo sa gym. Diba? Kahit sarado pa yung mga gym, no? Ako personally nakatulong siya. Kasi pag nagbihis ako, I put some effort. So, kailangan mag-workout ako ng maayos. Parang ganun. Lalo na yun sa shoes. O pag hindi nyo pinaghandaan yun, tatama rin lang kayo. Tsaka medyo petics lang yung gagawin yung workout. Malaking tulong yun sa quality ng workout tsaka exercise mo. For tip number five is to take caffeine or pre-workout. Now guys, hindi kailangan ng pre-workout, hindi kailangan ng caffeine, pero it can boost you, eh. it can help. Kasi caffeine nga siya, energy siya. At napaka-scientifically back na itong supplement na to. Yes, caffeine is a supplement. One that I recommend, lalo na kung tinatamad ka. Now, hindi naman kailangan pre-workout, no? Pwede yung coffee, yung simple black coffee, mga ganyan, basta may caffeine. Na-experience ko rin to, no? Pag tinatamad ako, lalo na nung nagkatrabaho pa ako, may corporate job ako, uwi ako mga 5.30 to 6. Medyo pagod na ako, eh. So, pag nagpa-pre-workout ako or coffee ako, it gets 
gets me through my workout and it helps me a lot. Kaya nga may mga certain products na ganito. Kung tinatamad kayo a certain day, take some caffeine, take some pre-workout, it may help you. Ingat lang kasi huwag nyo sanayin yung katawan nyo sa caffeine. Yung tolerance nyo tataas at the same time, the more that your tolerance increases, the more caffeine that you need. And delikado yun, lalo na sa heart, sa health, and on. Tip number six is to have a group of friends or support group or pwede kayo mag-e-workout, mga things like that. Parang pag nag-gym lang kayo, one reason kung bakit sobrang ganado ng ibang tao mag-gym is because may community. Diba? May sense of community, may sense of camaraderie, ganyan. Try to mimic that kahit na walang gym, kahit e-workout. May friend ako, lagi ako in-invite mag-e-workout. Shoutout kay Brandon, no? Lagi siyang nag invite Nakikita ko rin ginagawa niya is nag-workout siya with his friends. Mas gaganaan ka nun, guys, eh. Kesa sa pag ikaw lang lagi yung gumagawa. I'm not saying na always dapat ganun, pero once in a while, just to change things up, magaganaan kayo. Kasi guys, itong mga friends mo, support group mo siya, eh. Tsaka shared accountability siya, eh. When I say shared accountability, you guys watch out for each other. So, you guys can push each other pa. So have a support group and try to work out with friends kahit online. Tip number seven is to set up a good playlist or listen to good music. Guys, napaka-crucial ng music. Ako, personally, I'm so reliant on music. Pag walang music, tapos nag exercise ako, medyo nahihirapan ako to hype myself up. You can create your own, depende sa trip mo, di ba? EDM, hip-hop, mga rock, ganyan. Yun naman yung mga best for working out, to get you hype, to get you pumped. Ilalink ko sa baba yung Spotify playlist ko. So, medyo ma-EDM kasi ako. Ito yung kind na music that gets me going. Sometimes, rock as well. Pero, ito, I'll show it in the link. Check it out. Spotify. Let me know what you guys think down sa comments below kung nakatulong yung playlist ko sa inyo. Minsan din guys, it's the music that really carries your workout. Lalo ako sobrang pump ka, sobrang hype, ginurus pumps ka sa sobrang ganda ng music. In my experience kasi, pag maganda yung music, mas ginaganahan ako to lift weights. At the same time, for example, when I'm doing cardio, mas ginaganahan ka to go the extra mile pag tumatakbo ka or doing hit. Music talaga has this certain power that can change your workouts and really motivate you to exercise. Hindi lang lang just exercise eh. Kahit instrumental sa pag-aaral, kahit nagtatrabaho kayo, music can really really play a huge factor. Tip number eight is to change it up. Change your workouts, learn a new skill, do something new. Kasi guys, kung the same lang yung ginagawa nyo, nakakasawa eh. Diba? So pag nakakasawa, lalo kayong tatama rin. Diba? So ako lately, recently, I've been doing a lot of jump rope. Just to add a bit of cardio, tsaka activity na rin dyan. It's good for my heart, good for my health. So, ito, nagpa-practice ako ng jump rope. And natutuwa ako. It's fun. Lala na pag sinasabayan mo with music. These things kasi change up your routine eh. Kung nagiging routine yung buhay mo, tinatamad ka. So, what you wanna do is to change things up. Try different things. Malay mo, mag-enjoy ka pala with, let's say, jumping rope. Ganyan. Add it to your workout routine. Tapos, see how it changes. Ako, ever since nag-jump rope ako, ganadong-ganado na ako. Minsan, I look forward to doing it. Kasi it's fun. At the same time, it's good for me. Hindi naman necessarily jump rope lang. Pwede kang matutong sumayaw, di ba? Pwede kang mag-hit, di ba? Try different hit workouts, try different ab workouts, di ba? Change it up. Yun yung secret. Tip number 9 is to invest in equipment. Alam ko guys, not everyone naman has money to spend dahil na sa equipment. Pero guys, it's an investment eh. It's for your health. Maraming tao, they always forget about their health. They'd rather spend on, tamaan, huwag magalit, pero yung mga diamonds, mobile legends, they spend on games, things like that. Kung makakuha ka ng murang dumbbells, kahit yung mga adjustable na bakal, ganyan. A cheap bench, mas mura na siya. From ECQ to now, it doesn't have to be so expensive. For example, yung mga bands, ang dami ngayon nagbibenta sa Facebook Marketplace. Adjustable dumbbells adjustable bench. Yun pa lang guys, dami mo nang magagawa. Jump rope. The more that you have, the more you can do. And last tip is to just keep doing it. It takes mga 30 days to build a habit, a lifestyle. So, gawin mo is regularly ka mag-exercise and at some point, kasi for me personally, pag regular na ako nag-exercise, hinahanap na ng katawan ko eh. Kahit sabihin natin, I stop for a week, deload, pahinga, at some point, hahanapin ang katawan ko yung exercise just because I'm so used to it tsaka nabuild ko na yung habit nabuild ko na yung lifestyle as opposed to let's say if hindi ko pa siya nabibuild mag-stop ako one week baka dire-diretso na ako mag-stop 
So yun lang naman. Some of these tips are scientifically backed. Some of these tips are from my personal experiences, experiences of my clients, tsaka experiences ng mga kaibigan ko. Sana na-enjoy nyo, sana may natutunan kayo, and sana i-apply nyo. Again, check nyo yung playlist ko sa baba. Baka trip nyo yung music ko, diba? If you enjoyed the video, pakilike, pakishare, say something nice, and please subscribe to the channel. Maraming maraming salamat, and see you guys in the next video.